Hi there, my name is Satya and I am a teacher at IQ Ideas. Today I am going to talk about board examinations and how students are best prepared for them. Now, board comes twice generally in the Indian education system, once in standard 10th and the second time in your plus 2 or the 12th standard. And believe me, a lot of students and more often the parents get stressed out at the very mention of the name boards. But are board examinations really so terrible? Are they so all consuming that it takes away all the joy out of your life? Well, it all depends on perspective. You have to understand that board examinations are not the be all and end all of everything. They are there for a very specific purpose. They are just to test how much you have gained out of the schooling system and using the amount of knowledge that you have gained, which is the best further stream of higher education that you must get into. In short, what type of course and what type of college are you best suited for is what is determined by the board examinations in a large part. So, students should understand that they are not a monster which should cause you endless sleepless nights. Board examinations are just like any other examination that you have given in your entire school life. The only difference being that it is conducted by a different entity, maybe in a different location other than your school. But it's no different from the various school examinations that you have given. Now, let me ask you some very basic questions. I'm sure a lot of you are Harry Potter fans. So if I were to ask you to name me all the Horcruxes, then I'm sure you would be able to do so. Or for Game of Thrones fans, I'm sure you would be very easily able to recall the name of all the dire wolves that the Stark children have. Did you go to a school or college to learn all these facts? Or were you up all night swatting these things, memorizing these things? No. Then how come you are able to recall all such details? Simple. Because you have interest in them. So, if you take interest in the various subjects that you are studying at school level, then I'm sure your preparation for the board examination is going to be extremely easy. Now many students come up to me and say, but sir, Harry Potter, Game of Thrones are very interesting. But all this history, geography, mathematics, science, uh, political science, advanced trigonometry and stuff that we learn at school level and that we are supposed to be tested on in the board examinations are so boring. Well, my friend, it's boring because you think it is boring. Because for ages, people have been telling you that boards are tough, boards are serious matter. But if you understand that these subjects are extremely interesting, if you start developing an interest for them, then learning them is extremely easy. So how do you go about preparing for your board examinations? The first and foremost thing is that you must have a syllabus ready. Write down a list of all the subjects, all the chapters, all the topics that you are supposed to remember. Classify them into different categories. This is a topic which I have done, I am extremely comfortable with. I just need a quick revision before the exam and I will be able to crack it. This is a topic which I am not very confident on and I am to need to revise more. This is a topic where I am not at all comfortable and if possible I would like to either start it from scratch or maybe skip it. Although skipping is not a great option. Now once you have classified all these subjects into such categories, prepare a timetable. And remember, preparing timetable in your mind is not going to materialize. Write it down on a piece of paper, stick it at a place which is visible to you at all times. And make a daily schedule, split it into hours, morning 8 to 8.30, X topic. 8.45 to 9.15 Y topic and so on and so forth. Once you have completed that particular task, put a tick mark against it. So visually you are able to identify how many subjects, how many chapters, how many topics have been covered today and what all is pending. Now many students make the mistake of creating a timetable with 3-4 hour slots. My dear child, 
research has proven that people cannot concentrate beyond a certain amount of time at a stretch. In fact, that is why your school lectures are generally not beyond 40 to 45 minutes. So accept that it is not possible to study for hours together. Break it into chunks of half an hour, 45 minutes, maximum one hour. And then also schedule a break after two consecutive time slots. So maybe you have studied for 45 minutes, put a five minute break where you just get up, roam around, maybe check your phone for messages. But once the five minute break is over, again you come back and start hitting those books. So once you have a good schedule and a timetable prepared, your preparation is very systematic and you are able to easily identify how much of the syllabus have I completed and what amount of work is pending. Now, before the day of the examination, ideally you should not be doing anything at all. And I am talking about one day before the exam. So if your examination is on the 4th, then you must have done all your preparation by the 2nd and 3rd must be a day to relax. But many students are unwilling to do so. They are afraid that if they do not read on the last day, then whatever they have done in the entire year would simply slip their mind. So then you can just revise all basic concepts in a superficial manner. Do not attempt to learn anything new on the last day. Do not give any mock paper on the day just before the exam. That day must be devoted to calming yourself and steadying your mind. Focus is extremely important. Before the day of the examination, you must have a healthy diet and go to sleep early so that the next day, on the day of the examination, you wake up fresh and refreshed. On the day of the examination, early morning or whatever time you get up, make sure you have a light breakfast. You do not swat or cram material, but rather focus your mind and calm yourself. Reach the examination center well before time. Make sure that you are not in a hurry. In fact, if it is the first day that you are going to go to the center, then I would advise that you already check out the route a day before so that you know how much time it takes for you to reach from your home to the exam center and also give yourself some extra time to take into consideration things like traffic jams and other unforeseeable circumstances. At the examination center, just relax. Do not cram your last moment revision notes. Avoid talking to people who are discussing different topics and trying to mark important questions. In fact, many friends would have the habit of asking you whether you have completed X topic and memorized Y formula. Avoid such people because they are of no help. They are going to just stress you out before you enter the examination hall. When you enter the examination hall, Make sure you have all the necessary and prescribed items with you which may include your stationery, your hall ticket, your ID card if necessary and so on. When the paper is given to you and you are asked to start, do not immediately start with the first question. Take just a minute or so to go through the entire question paper to get a feel. Also make sure that all the pages are present and correctly printed. Once that is done, you may start the exam. You should have a mental strategy ready in which you know in what order you are going to attempt these questions. Once you are done with that, make sure that you come out of the examination hall with the sense that you have given it your best shot. If it is not the last exam, then please avoid discussion of the paper with your friends, relatives or any other person. Once the paper is done, your focus must be on the next one. So this is what you should be doing before and during the exam. Now coming back to your preparation time, the essential thing is to prepare in a systematic manner. So make a habit of writing down all key points in form of small notes which you keep referring to time and again. Practice is the key to cracking most of the exams. So make sure you give an adequate number of model test papers but also make sure that you have analyzed every test paper that you have given. What was the quality of the answers you wrote? Could you have written those answers in a better manner? 
if you could not attempt certain questions why did you not attempt them is that a paucity of time or is it because you have not completed that topic proper analysis is the key of bettering your results with the help of modern test papers there are a lot of videos going around on the internet which say that examinations are not the end all and be all of life and there are people who are famous who are celebrities who say how they have succeeded in life without having done any well in the entrance examinations in their school board examinations dear friend although it is true that exams are not the only defining factor the indian system is such that you definitely need to do well in them if you want to have a successful future so please do not take these examinations lightly make sure that you have prepared well make sure you give it your best slow shot talk to your friends talk to your parents talk to your teachers if you are in any trouble if you have any tensions your parents and teachers are the best people who understand you and can help guide you through these tough times so having said that wish you all the best for whatever examination you are preparing for make sure you do well in them and you definitely will have a good and successful career so once again all the best